as advertised and as delivered. The Judgment Day is in your city. The Judgment Day is here for one thing and one thing only, and I think you all know exactly what that is. It is not a man, it is not a team, it is a specific thing. It is a thing that I made so coveted over the last year here in Universe Mode. It's a thing that, quite frankly, doesn't feel right at all. The presence of it, the aura of it, nothing about it feels right without the Judgment Day. I don't know if you guys understand, I am talking about the World's Heavyweight Championship. I am talking about the championship that I should have never lost at WrestleMania. The championship that I never lost, technically, because I was never pinned for it. The championship that I have worked my ass off to for now to keep around my waist. The championship that the Judgment Day has worked their ass off to keep around my waist. And how does it get away from the Judgment Day by the hands of Will Ospreay? A man that we just seen this past Monday still can't get the job done. That's a guy that they trusted in my main event. A show that, quite frankly, I was supposed to have the night off for. A show that I made immortal, that I made legendary. And what happened? What happened? Finn Balor once again got screwed. Well, this year, we're not doing anything any differently. This year, the Judgment Day is running things tooth and nail. Rhea Ripley, your world women's champion, she is going to single-handedly Decide the fate of every single woman in that locker room. The man standing next to me, the godfather of the Judgment Day, Damian Priest. Now, Damian, Damian is going to get a very big spotlight to him coming soon. I don't care how we do it, it's going to get done. He's paid his dues and he's earned his opportunity. And Dom, don't think I forgot about you, bud. Because although in the main event, JD McDonough is going to win. The gauntlet match is going to go on to challenge and beat Chad Gable for the championship. I think McDonough doesn't mind holding two championships. And I know you've been wanting to get your hands on the tag team championships for quite a long time. And I, I've seen the exclusive. Those Mayhem titles, they look damn good. And they only look good around the Judgment Day's waist. You see, the Judgment Day is going to be doing big things this season. This isn't a mission statement. This isn't me telling you guys one thing and it slowly gets unraveled over the next couple of weeks. Last week, draft week, was the warning shot. This week, we're firing off on all cylinders. This isn't the end of the Judgment Day. The end of the Judgment Day has not even begun to see its clips. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something right now. This right here... This right here is a promise, a promise that each and every single member of the Judgment Day is going to stay on the top of their game, that each and every single member of the Judgment Day is not only going to win their matches, not only going to do what the hell they have to do when stepping inside the ring, but we're going to do what we have to do and we're going to take over Mayhem. This is a brand decided by Judgment Day, there's no Wade Barrett's and I, you can get, listen, there's no William Regals either. When it comes down to mayhem, this is a show ran by the Judgment Day, and if anybody wants to test their luck, then their Judgment Day will get met very, very soon. But I laid it all out. I'm coming for you, Moxley, and I'm coming for that World's Heavyweight Championship because it's my title. The Judgment Day have their orders. It's time to go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I can officially welcome you guys to the season premiere of Mayhem as we have just heard from one of the most dominant factions in Universe Mode history. That was the Judgment Day. And as you guys can see, they are definitely ready and they are ready for season three, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another season of Mayhem. It is going to be damn good as we are going into our second season of Mayhem. But for the first time ever, we stand on our own because the green brand is going to the top, ladies and gentlemen, as we are going to have one hell of a year we got to start it off with tonight let's go down with the run line ladies and gentlemen it as it will be AOP making their in-ring debut as they are going to be going against the Street Profits and that's not all ladies and gentlemen we are
we're gonna be hearing from our North American champion, Chad Gable. And when it comes to women's action, it's coming as fierce as ever as Becky Lynch is gonna be going one on one with Gigi Dolan. And that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. Inside your main event, it's gonna be six man number one contenders gauntlet match. It is going to be six of Mayhem's best. Tonight I gotta do what's right for Dijak. Last week I told the WWE Universe that I was going to step into the ring, I was gonna simply dominate, and I was going to move on. I told the WWE Universe that I wasn't here for championships, I wasn't here to be the biggest and the baddest, I was here to inflict pain. I was here to make people hurt, but somebody's caught my attention, and he calls himself a great white. He's a guy I'm stepping into the ring with later on tonight. Sheamus, you know I'm talking to you, don't you? You've been uh, throwing a lot of shots over this last few weeks on social media. And quite frankly, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed because no matter how much you call yourself the Great White, the Celtic Warrior, this, that, and the third, the same thing that happens to you, it, it's rinse and repeat. You get a little bit of spotlight and then... After a while, that light just flickers right off. You see, when you're stepping into the ring with me, I'll make sure to knock your lights out for good. You don't want this fight, Sheamus. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is going to be women's action starting us off right here on our season premiere as Becky Lynch is going to be going one-on-one -on -one with G.G. Dolan. It's going to be damn good. It's coming your way right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for women's action as we are going to be getting into G.G. Dolan versus Becky Lynch. First time G.G. Dolan is going to be in the square circle here in season three as she did make her arrival here on the scene back during our road to WrestleMania this past January. And kind of since then, you know, since this year, she's just been going and going. Season three is set to be one hell of a season. This season premiere, I mean, come on, being on the season premiere episode, that, that's got to mean something right there, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we already seen what uh, Nikita Lyons and Asuka did over on Raw this past Monday. You know, the women over here on Mayhem, it's going to be very interesting to see what uh what division really holds up as we all know the women's world championship ended up going to mayhem as rhea ripley is the women's world champion and you know she is over here with Gigi dolan and the woman that Gigi dolan is going against here tonight becky lynch when it comes down to mayhem i'm not too worried about the women's division when it comes down to mayhem then there's a lot to eat there's a lot to do ladies and gentlemen and when i talk about this woman right here Gigi dolan she is going to be a superstar breaking in the making ladies and gentlemen i mean this is a superstar breakout right here a superstar that is willing to take those next steps a superstar that is willing to push those boundaries but she's going to be going against a woman here tonight ladies and gentlemen who has done the same in her career and she did the exact same thing at wrestlemania which was the last time that we saw the man herself becky lynch the last time we were graced with the presence of Becky Lynch, it was on the great stage of WrestleMania when Becky went one-on-one -on -one with Mia Yim in a Falls Count Anywhere match. And the match didn't even need to get to the outside. Becky took care of business and she took care of Mia Yim. And hey, all I gotta say is Becky on one brand, Rhea on one brand. I would say that it's kind of the stars are aligning, but I don't know. At the same time, Becky has had opportunities in the past where she's been able to go after Rhea Ripley but instead she decided to I guess some people might call it side quest Becky Lynch is definitely one of those wrestlers who 100% the game before she gets to the final boss and if we've learned anything after Wrestlemania ladies and gentlemen Rhea Ripley well she's that final boss but tonight Becky Lynch is going to have one hell of a competitor as she is going to be going one on one with Gigi Dolan Dolan I hyped her up before and I'll say it again not an easy opponent to just knock off. So this one isn't going to be too easy for Becky Lynch as Lynch is going to have to really try in this one. First match here in season three, Mayhem. Let's go get into it as 
Season premiere right here. First match for the season premiere. It's going to be damn good. And look at this now. Wait a minute. Becky already picking her up. Dropping her down there. Look at that now. Cross arm breaker. Looks to try to break the arm in half there. But Gigi Dolan finding a way to get out of it. Swift punches to the face there. Beautiful work there by Dolan. Dolan with a couple of punches to the face. So watching out exactly what she needs to do here. Making sure she keeps up the momentum. And look at oh. Once again, man, oh man, that's not looking good. Oh, wait a minute, am I eating my words here as Becky once again drops her down. Beautiful maneuver there, having it right in the middle of the ring. This time, nowhere for her to go, but I eat my words again as Dolan. Dolan seems to have this one a little too scouted, ladies and gentlemen, as oh, look at this now. Becky Lynch might be getting hit with a submission of her own, and oh, look at that, but one-legged Boston crab there by Gigi Dolan to Becky Lynch, and Lynch says no. I mean, talk about back and forth, ladies and gentlemen, as these two women are going. And look at that now. The man up and down. She goes. Becky Lynch not playing any games. And now the man with an O. Oh, a leg drop and missed out there as Becky Lynch hasn't been in action. Oh, my God. Beautiful kicks there by Gigi Dolan. Hasn't been in action here in Universal Mode since WrestleMania. Gigi Dolan hasn't been in action since the Raw before WrestleMania, so both women having some time off to really uh, ooh, get themselves back up to 100% beautiful power into the cover. Is this one going to be in here? No. Becky Lynch finding a way, or excuse me, Gigi Dolan finding a way that the orange hair got kind of throws me off. I mean, it kind of looks like we're, oh, look at that shades of Becky's past with the hair color of Gigi Dolan, but look at that now, Lynch full head of steam! Full head of steam by the man Becky Lynch! Just completely throwing herself at Gigi Dolan. I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you want to see here. Oh, this is what you want to see. As look at that now, Dolan. Dolan shrugging off Becky, though. Beautiful work there by Gigi Dolan. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, you don't. Oh, I was going to say, you don't see that very often from the challenger, especially the up and comer. But look at that now. As Dolan getting brought into the ring there by Becky Lynch. Beautiful work there by Lynch. Lynch, count of six here, is going to have to be careful. And okay, that gets right back into the ring. And as these two women, ladies and gentlemen, are fighting on, we're going to have to go on commercial break. We'll be right back right after this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up May 12th, it is going to be the Unforgiven pay-per-view taking place in San Juan, Puerto Rico. It's going to be damn good, and I can't wait. See you guys then. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back from commercial break. Dolan now right off of the cover. Is she going to be able to get it here tonight? And no. Kick out by Lynch, man, oh man, over the commercial break, ladies and gentlemen, these two women just kept going and going, and as you see, it was Gigi Dolan to get the outcome that she wanted, well, not too much as Lynch kicked out, but at least she's not playing defense, and oh man, look at that, bouncing her head right off of the turnbuckle there, beautiful work there by Dolan, Dolan here looking to make a name for herself on the season premiere of Mayhem tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as look, look at Becky though. Becky setting her down once again, going for another one. And Dolan, as she tries to get back up to her feet, Becky says no. Becky says no, not allowing Gigi Dolan to do what she wants to do there. Lynch now in full control here. And a, oh, suplex by the man. Lynch has Dolan down. Could it be out? And look at this now. Bags Ploder. Becky with an absolute devastating suplex, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, one that is definitely going to be talked about for the ages. As look at that now, beautiful takedown there. And oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We've seen it earlier on the other side by Becky. Are we going to see it on this side here by Gigi? And oh, excuse me, by Becky. And oh, Tope! Making sure she followed through, splashing down on Dolan. Dolan doesn't know where she's at or what's going on, and you can't blame her, ladies and gentlemen, as this one is one hell of a wrestling match here tonight. If you're enjoying this one, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more. I want to thank everybody for uh, 3,000 subscribers here on the YouTube channel as well as we just surpassed that. And oh my God, look at that now. Gigi Dolan now trying to turn the tides here on Becky Lynch. You can't blame her. I mean, come on, who wouldn't want to do that? You know, going against a woman like Becky Lynch, a woman of that stature, a woman who's, who has all that momentum. If I'm a, if I'm one of the women in the women's division too, I'm going to want to go after the big shark like Becky. And that's exactly what Becky is, a big shark. And look at that now. Wait a minute. Becky had a bit of trouble here as Gigi Dolan. Dolan looking to make me eat my words. Looking to make Lynch not look like a uh, much of a shark anymore. Let's look at this now. 
Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, beautiful takedown there by Gigi Dolan. Dolan. Dolan now looking to scout Becky Lynch, looking to go to the top of the rope. This might be exactly where she wants to be. No. Elbow drop, moved out of the way. Beautiful execution there by Gigi Dolan, but she just couldn't follow through on it. And now it's Becky Lynch that's following through on it. I mean, this has got to be something that Gigi's thinking about. This has definitely got to be something that Gigi's thinking about. She almost had Lynch. She was in a prominent position. And now look at this now. Is Lynch using the rope to her advantage? Not something you would usually see there by Becky Lynch. And Lynch doing any and everything she has to do here tonight. Dropping her down there. What does she have in mind for her now? Is the man up top. Oh! Leg drop missed. Dolan now. Oh, X-Factor. Dolan caught her with an X-Factor. What does she have in mind for her now? Is GG Dolan. Dolan's going to have to think twice about what she wants to do here. Because as the man rolls to the outside, I think Dolan wants to hit a little bit of a revenge on the man. As the man hit two, two very important topes. You know, wait a minute, look at that. GG Dolan not looking to take the advi or the risk here tonight. And that might have cost her as Becky Lynch used that momentum, slid her across to the outside, and now, now she is just using it. And look at that! Gaining momentum and following through. Becky Lynch showing Gigi Dolan exactly what she should have just did. And look at this now as Gigi gets brought up and down. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. What a match we are seeing here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Right here on the Mayhem season premiere. And oh my God, once again, Gigi Dolan finding a way to get some type of reversal. I want to remind everybody also, guys, one hell of a six-man gauntlet match later tonight. Authors of Pain are going to be in action as well. And look at that. Wait a minute, Gigi Dolan, Black Widow here tonight. Black Widow locked in. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. Has it locked in? Those wings are clipped. And wait a minute, Becky. Becky, Becky says no and trips her up. The man has luck like I've never seen before. And wait a minute now, is she gonna catch her? Man here, no slam! One, two, Becky does it! On the season premiere, Becky Lynch finds her way and she persevered here tonight. Now all I have is one question for the WWE Universe that I hinted at it earlier. But what is next for Becky Lynch? Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we are going to be carrying on the night with one hell of a night, I want to remind you guys still to come. It is going to be number one contender gauntlet action as we are going to be seeing Dijak, Ricochet, JD McDonough, Solo Sokoa, Sheamus, and AJ Styles all for the right to take on this man right here, which he will be speaking right before the main event, before we get into all the action about what he feels and how he's feeling about everything going down. The next time you see us inside the square circle, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be the Authors of Pain, Street Profits, two on two. It goes down tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is General Manager Wade Barrett, and I have a bit of an announcement for you guys. Now, when it comes down to the championships here on Mayhem, all of them are, are, are filled up, let's be honest. We have all our champions. We have a world champion, we have a women's champion, and we have a mid-card champion. But the one champions we do not have are tag team champions. Now, we have tag team championships that were just revealed over on the Plus community page but we do not have champions that's a problem that's a problem that I want to fix a problem that I plan to fix at Unforgiven ladies and gentlemen we promised that Unforgiven will be the pay-per-view to look for when it comes down to WWE 2K24 because ladies and gentlemen this is the first installment of what Mayhem has to offer this is the first time where we get to step out of our own spotlight and we get to step out of that shadow of being the B brand we're superstars who don't get pushed get pushed we're superstars who don't get opportunities find them opportunities they find them in the ring ladies and gentlemen that is what Unforgiven is all about and Mayhem, Mayhem has not forgiven what it's been under. And it's been under scrutiny. 
It's been under backlash and we are done. And we are tired of it. Adam Pearce said, may the best man win. William Regal said that he wanted, he wanted competition. Well, competition's coming. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of tonight's match will be taking on the New Day in two weeks' time. And next week, the OC will be taking on DIY. And the winners of those matches will be going against each other for the tag team championships ladies and gentlemen this is just the beginning of what we have and what we have to offer you guys because trust me and trust me when i say there's more well ladies and gentlemen as we just heard what's going to be going down there with the world tag team championships or the mayhem tag team championships excuse me as those are the only titles here in universe mode for mayhem that are vacant we need to find out champions and i guess we have our selections of matches that we are going to be seeing i'm excited to see them are you guys it's going to be good well all right ladies and gentlemen we are back here in the mayhem zone and we are ready we are ready to get right into it and oh man man oh man oh man everywhere that these men go they leave a wake of destruction in their path ladies and gentlemen the two men who were trained under paul ellering razor akum authors of pain these gentlemen are going to change the game they're going to change how we look at universe mode forever ladies and gentlemen i promise you these this is a team that is going to break the boundaries when it comes to tag team wrestling they may not seem like a lot they may seem like just two big guys who are going to push their weight around and trust me when i say they're bullies in the square circles but they're also there's these guys are the real deal when it comes down to pain they live up to that name when it comes down to this matchup right here it already has big implications as we heard before this matchup took place ladies and gentlemen it is going to be a set of tag team matches to determine who is going to be our next mayhem tag team champions and uh this matchup between the authors of pain and the street profits the winners will be going against the new day which uh will end up being a qualifiers matchup and the winners of that matchup will take on the winners of diy versus the oc next week and those two teams from that will end up uh yeah they'll end up becoming the new champions they're going to unforgiven listen it is getting interesting when it comes down to the WWE and the tag team division. But ladies and gentlemen, a team that we do know, a team that we are very fond of here in Universe Mode. I'm talking Street Profits. And they may be here. They may be, they may be with a new theme. But the party don't stop when you're looking at Montez Ford. When you're looking at Angelo Dawkins. These two guys have brought professional wrestling to its knees. When it comes down to tag team wrestling, they know how to bring the fun into it, and they know how to keep the party up. Now, although they didn't do much last season, this season can easily be their season. Now, we were just going into this matchup as being the first tag team matchup of the, uh, you know, of the season, you know, uh, for a season premiere episode. But now, there's implications behind this one, so I can only imagine how the Street Profits feel about this one. They were just going into this one regular, and now they can potentially be going to Unforgiven. Puerto Rico is a damn good place to be. It's going to be sunny and bright in May, and we're looking to book our tickets. And all I got to say is I know I'm going to be there. I hope the Street Profits are going to be there. They're a good team, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope. I hope what the world hopes, and that is that we can see the rise of the Street Profits. They just got to apply themselves. When it comes down to the Street Profits, they know how to get the job done. I wouldn't even argue and say that joking around too much uh, is, their, is their weak spot. I wouldn't even say that. I would say what gets them every single time is mainly their, their, their tag team chemistry. It, you would think it's off the charts, but here in Universe Mode, it's been a little dodgy. And, you know, we want to try to find that glue when it comes down to the Street Profits so they can be a successful team as we know the Street Profits are here on Mayhem. They're an exclusive team right here on Mayhem along with the Authors of Pain. And, oh man, this is going to be very interesting. Look at this. I told you before and I said it again, you know, when it comes down oh my god, when it comes down to Montez Ford, he just jokes around a little much, him and Angelo Dawkins, but you see there, 
Akam starting us off here. And oh, look at that. After that big boot, just taking him down with a beautiful, beautiful, uh, I don't know if I want to call it a spear, a tackle. But oh, man, look at this. I was saying the downfall of what I felt season two of Street Profits. Already the Authors of Pain are making examples of them. Using that tag team work, just palm striking him down. Montez Ford looking in pain. He looks frightened. I mean, I don't even I feel bad for the man. And oh, man. Montez now looking to get back up to his feet as Razor now. What does he have in mind? Club in the back. And no, Montez says no. Montez finding a little bit of fight back. Good job there by Montez Ford. And look at that. Oh, man. Caught right in the flash trap. And oh, man. Oh, my God. That's literally what it's looking like. It is looking like you like, like Razor is the fly swatter and Montez is the fly. Just swatting him away, swatting him down. And as Razor taught into the crowd, oh, goes right after Angelo Dawkins. Dawkins wanted, wanted the tag in. And now taunting away to Dawkins there as that right there might have been the thing to help out Montez Ford. And I think it is off the ropes there. Beautiful work there. Frog splash there by Ford. Standing frog splash there. Look at what he's going to do here. Ford definitely knows how to fly. Up top. Splash. Into the cover. Is this one going to be in here early? Is it going to be in? No. The Street Profits to move on to the qualifier. They didn't. And oh, wait a minute, look at this. As Angelo Dawkins getting his lick back from earlier, going right after him. And oh, Montez Ford. Montez Ford is being as hilarious as ever. Letting Angelo Dawkins take care of work there on the outside. And look at that. Now it's. Oh! I thought he psyched this out the first time, but this time he went for it. And look at that as Montez Ford absolutely fired up here in the Mayhem Zone. Wow! What a match we are seeing as a referee on the count of four. Montez Ford getting Razor back into the ring. The Street Profits looking to end this one. Is he going to get him? He finally does tag in to Angelo Dawkins. Dawkins finally tagged in for the first time here in the matchup. This might be the trajectory changer for the Street Profits. And big takedown there by Dawkins. Dawkins more on the uh, even side with Razor and Akam. And unlike Montez Ford, the smallest man at all three. And oh, takedown there by Elm. And oh my God, look at that takedown there. And oh, looking to go for another takedown. Missed out there as Angelo Dawkins once again missed out with the SWAT. Dawkins again moved out of the way. Dawkins trying to find himself as he just noticed Montez Ford's on the outside. And he's hurt. And Dawkins now, big kick to the midsection and taken down. Taken down, Razar. And Razar's in trouble here. And oh, I ate my words. Big slap to the face there by Razar to Angelo Dawkins. Dawkins now getting brought up and down. Razar making it look like nothing. And look at this now as Montez Ford trying to find himself in this matchup. Akam just staring down and oh, staring down and taking down Angelo Dawkins as Akam. Akam and oh. Akam more the quiet one out of the two. But like I said before, ladies and gentlemen, hard hitting as ever. Man, oh man, look at this. Clubbing blows over and over again. Not playing any games here tonight. Look at this though, Razar. Razar stepping off of the apron here. As, oh, big headbutt there. Huge headbutt there by the man himself. And now, wait a minute, wait a minute, look at this. Look at this, choking him. Choking the absolute life out of him as Angelo Dawkins doesn't know where he's at. We just seen Razar across the screen. You can't see it, but yeah, here we go. Look at that now. Oh! Razar taking out Montez Ford. Ford just not knowing where he's at. Spine absolutely shattered is Dawkins as Akam. Oh my God. Dominance? Can we call it that? Razor going right after going right after Montez Ford. Akam squeezing the life out of Angelo Dawkins. If that isn't tag team perfection being put on display, I don't know what is. I genuinely don't, don't know what is. But as Angelo Dawkins back up to his feet first, trying to check on his tag team partner. Oh my god! Oh my god, look at this! Oh! Razor and Akam not done! Not done. Angelo Dawkins tried to do the easy thing and tap. Tried to do the easy thing and tap. But ladies and gentlemen, this, this is what we got to look forward to. This is what's coming. And it's coming in two weeks time. AOP New Day qualifiers match. Man, oh man, that one's going to be good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a night of professional wrestling it has been. 
before us right here in our Mayhem season premiere, but right as we are hitting that 30 minute mark, we want to give all the time to the main event, so we got to make sure our North American champion Chad Gable gets time, so we want to take you guys back to Gable defending the title. As Gable now, what does Gable have in mind for Rollins? Oh man, this is looking like Shades of WrestleMania. Shades of WrestleMania bounced off into the corner. Suplex! Gable, is it over? One, two, three. Chad Gable. Chad Gable with his first successful championship defense. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we are gonna be hearing from the champion himself. It is North American champion Chad Gable here live on Mayhem. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back out here in the Mayhem Zone. I hope Long Beach has been enjoying the show as we are finally getting into the main attraction. The thing that honestly, if we can be honest, it's been the one thing circling the entire night, ladies and gentlemen, and that is the North American champion, Chad Gable. Gable is here, and Gable is ready. Man, oh man, well, I can only imagine what Gable is gonna say as ladies and gentlemen, tonight in a hole has really been surrounded around Chad Gable in the North American Championship as coming up in our main event, it is going to be a six-man gauntlet match, and that is going to determine who will challenge Chad Gable at the Unforgiven pay-per-view coming up May 12, 2024 in San Juan, Puerto Rico. It's gonna be a damn good event. I hope you guys are gonna be tuning in because it's gonna be real, real good as uh, Wade Barrett earlier tonight has been hyping it up pretty, pretty good. Kinda, ha kinda has me a little nervous. You know, since winning this title a couple of weeks ago, I, I still haven't thought to myself on exactly what's next with Chad Gable. You see, the entire WWE Universe has believed in me since the beginning. And that is something that I just thank you. You guys have believed in me from the beginning. And that right there is an absolute thank you. From day one, you knew Gable was going to be something. Since day one... You knew Gable was going to be the man. And the man I am. The man I am holding the North American Championship, doing exactly what I said I was going to do at WrestleMania, doing exactly what I said I was going to do at the draft, being the fighting champion that I promised to be, and it doesn't stop at the draft. It goes, and it's going to keep going, and it's going to go and go and go all the way until Unforgiven, because I didn't come this far to lose to any, any of those men who you're going to see coming up next. And trust me, I'm going to be paying very, very close attention. I'll be right here, right on the ringside, in front row. So, gentlemen, may the best man win. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you know, Chad Gable letting everybody know, listen, I'm a fighting champion, but I'm looking for a fighter as well. Well, I can't wait to see what happens. But, ladies and gentlemen, just as a reminder for next week, we are going to be seeing... One of the other qualifying matches is DIY goes two on two with the OC, but ladies and gentlemen, I want to waste absolutely no time as it is time for the gauntlet match. Let's lay down the rules. Two superstars will start in the ring. When one superstar is eliminated, a new superstar enters. Elimination can occur by pinfall submission or disqualification, and the match will continue until there is one superstar that will be declared the winner of your gauntlet match for our season premiere right here on mayhem it's gonna be damn damn good ladies and gentlemen and now that you know the rules i can officially say it's time for your main event as jd mcdonough the irish ace of the judgment day steps up for the judgment day as he looks to be going after north american championship gold Ladies and gentlemen, we have been waiting all night to see who will be the man to challenge Chad Gable. There is so much star power in this one match. But the big question is, who is going to be able to walk away with the victory? We are sold out live right here in Long Beach for our season premiere of Mayhem. What a season premiere it has been as we are officially underway with the draft. And as you guys can see, 
We are giving this one some time here in the main event. Man, oh man, it's going to be damn good, ladies and gentlemen. We are looking at a gauntlet match, man. A gauntlet match is, if I'm not mistaken, second time ever in Universe Mode history we are seeing a gauntlet match here. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see how this one plays. It's going to be very interesting to see how all this kind of works out. As JD McDonough has never competed in our gauntlet matches here in Universe Mode. Uh, neither is a lot of the superstars here in Universe Mode, so it's, it's going to be very interesting. A lot of superstars, a lot of promising people, and oh, ladies and gentlemen, you got this man right here. This man right here, an angry AJ Styles, and AJ Styles that we are seeing for the first time here in Season 3 after finding out last week in the draft that the OC was getting drafted right here to Mayhem. And ladies and gentlemen, I'll say it how it is. Mayhem is going to be damn good with AJ Styles. But I can only imagine how pissed off Styles is at the fact that him, the OC, and the Shield got drafted to different brands. Now, if you didn't see WrestleMania, ladies and gentlemen, well, you missed out on a pretty damn good show. I'll tell you that. But if you didn't miss it, ladies and gentlemen, then you know that we didn't see Brian Danielson's open challenge and you know it was explained why but if anybody's curious on why it's because of this man right here it's because over a month ago in universe mode we had a main event on mayhem between AJ Styles and Brian Danielson and it was AJ Styles that took Danielson and and hit him with a brain buster off of the turnbuckle which re-injured the neck re-injured the neck of Brian Danielson and now Danielson has to be out of universe mode for six months as AJ Styles gets to move on and go for North American Championship gold I mean it's crazy to even think about ladies and gentlemen we don't have to dream anymore we are getting right into this one as AJ Styles is going off on JD McDonough unloading with a furious strikes and a big take down there by the phenomenal one AJ Styles showing off and Listen, I mean, he has a damn good reason to do so, but at the same time, J.D. McDonough following through with a neck breaker. Now, first time we're seeing J.D. McDonough in singles action in quite a while here in Universe Mode, at least singles action that's mattered for his singles career. And, oh, Finn Balor has had, to, you know, a, a big, 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 big mission statement earlier in the show. And if J.D. McDonough doesn't walk away with a win or a couple of eliminations here tonight, he might have to reevaluate himself in the judgment day. Let's just say that. And oh man, big kick to the leg there by JD McDonough as McDonough firing away on the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. And oh, beautiful takedown there. The phenomenal one not playing any games here tonight with the ace, and neither is the ace with the phenomenal one. And look at that now. Oh, JD McDonough. JD McDonough once again using those ligaments to his advantage and once again taking down the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Styles now. Oh! McDonough, beautiful moonsault off the second row, making it look easy, and Styles with a kick out at two. Not even letting McDonough waste his time. You can't blame him, ladies and gentlemen. It's JD McDonough now. More pissed off, just taking down AJ Styles. Styles coming into this one, not 100% after WrestleMania. And Styles goes right after that knee, but he is damn close enough, ladies and gentlemen. It's oh, AJ Styles once again with an elbow to the neck there, and oh! Over the ropes, giving McDonough absolutely no room, no chance to breathe. That is what you want to see. And look at that now as J.D. McDonough rolls right back into the ring there as this is not looking good, or this might not be looking good for the Irish Ace here tonight as he was once doing good. And now the phenomenal one seems to be like he's taking a sign with them as I ate my words here as J.D. McDonough. Big elbow right to the face there. And look at this now as J.D. McDonough choking the lights out of A.J. Styles. Styles doesn't know where he's at, what's going on, what's happening. Styles is just in a world of hurt, ladies and gentlemen. And look at this now. Styles. Styles takes down McDonough, not playing any games with him here tonight. As look at this now, J.D. McDonough bouncing right off of the ropes there. And A.J. Styles takes him down again. The phenomenal one not playing any games here. Big kicks to his chest there by AJ Styles. Look at this now, popping him up. Brain buster by Styles. That was that exact brain buster by the phenomenal one that took out Brian Danielson. And you see it's, it's showing, it's doing, and it's working. Styles unleashing everything he possibly can here tonight.
on J.D. McDonough. Man, oh man, oh man. And look at that now. Wait a minute. Styles now. Oh! Modified Stinger Splash. Caught him with the elbow. Dropped right against the chest. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming to this episode. I want to thank each and every single one of you guys. But I also want to let you guys know, you know, still getting over that sick a little bit. So, uh, voice is not back to 100% yet. But we will be there soon. As I would love to push myself in this one. As AJ Styles now goes for another kick there. And JD McDonough trying to find a way to get himself back into this one there. But Styles takes him down low. Takes him down low. Picks him right back up. And looks to rinse and repeat here. Calf crush on the outside. It's not going to do much damage. As these two men are going to want to go back inside the ring. If they're going to want to walk away with the victory here tonight. As these two men got to remember that. These two men are the, the first two men to start off here tonight. You know there's. This is still, what, four other people that's going to be that's gonna be in here. Absolutely insane to even think about. But look at this now as AJ Styles going right back into the ring. McDonough. McDonough could be in big trouble here tonight as he, he seems like he very well is. And look at that now. Pop-up Styles clash there by Styles. But McDonough saying no. McDonough not allowing AJ Styles to hit the Styles clash on him. Not something that I think I see there from JD McDonough. McDonough now popping down low. Springing down up. Definitely giving the people money's worth. Arm drag there, making it look damn good there as Styles tries to switch gears. McDonough bouncing off into the cover here. No. And as Chad Gable said before this main event, he is watching on. And J.D. McDonough just pointed at him, saying that he will be the man to challenge him. And look at that. Frankensteiner by McDonough. To think that this, these are just the first two men. Coup de gras. Oh my god. Shades of his mentor. The former and longest reigning world champion Finn Balor as McDonough once again with a standing moonsault into the cover. One, two, and no. I don't think Styles expected to get a run for his money as much as he's getting here tonight as JD McDonough. Oh, big Yuranagi. Big Yuranagi by JD McDonough. McDonough knocking the Sonic coins right out of AJ Styles. Man, oh man, oh man. This is, this is dangerous. This is going to be very, very dangerous. And oh my God, look at this. We called AJ Styles a man on a mission before, but I think, ladies and gentlemen, I think here tonight, he has proven, he has proven that, uh, he really wants that North American Championship. I mean, Styles was one of the men who was originally in that fatal four-way match at WrestleMania. Styles now calling up J.D. McDonough. The Irish Ace doesn't know where he's at. Cross body by the phenomenal one. Styles now picks up McDonough. Beautiful work there, knocking him off there. Oh, man. Oh, big punch to the face there. McDonough now getting Irish whipped or... Excuse me, reversing the Irish whip. AJ Styles switching it up there as it goes. And oh, back elbow there. JD McDonough absolutely on one tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Into the cover here tonight. Is he going to be able to put away Styles? No. Imagine what that would have done to the career of JD McDonough if he was just able to put away AJ Styles. Look at this now. McDonough fighting out of it. Not allowing Styles to do what he wants to do. Styles wants to have his way with him. McDonough says no. Wait a minute. Devil inside! It's over! One! Two! No! No, no, no! McDonough off the ropes! Does McDonough have no quit? Does McDonough have no... Wait a minute, look at this! What the hell is that? Is that a sharpshooter? McDonough has a sharpshooter locked in the Styles, but Styles got too close to the ropes. Oh my goodness, yo, JD McDonough is really him tonight. JD McDonough is really doing what he has to do here tonight. That's McDonough now. Gets tossed up here by AJ Styles. Styles ducks down over. Pops through. Eat my words with a suplex. Beautiful work there by the phenomenal one. AJ Styles not playing any games. And wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. Look at this now. Once again, Big Irish Whip suplex. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a receipt. J.D. McDonough wanted absolutely none of it. None of it. McDonough in the drop zone. Is he going to go? He jumps up. And, oh, Styles moves right out of the way. The phenomenal one moves right out of the way. What the hell did we just see? Man, oh man, Styles turning it around and doing it again. I mean, come on. This fight that we're seeing from these two men, I mean, this is something serious, ladies and gentlemen. This is wherewithal if I've never seen it before myself. As look at this now. Phenomenal one. It calls him up to his feet. Nowhere for him to go. Nothing for him to do. JD McDonough absolutely hurting here tonight. As look at this now. McDonough goes right into the corner there. Off the request of AJ Styles. And he has no choice but to oblige as Styles now following through. Beautiful work there by Styles. And Styles now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought he was going to go for a... Uh, thought he was going to go for a uh, bit of a Styles. Bit of a phenomenal forearm, but he said no. Wait a minute, one more time. Double inside. Into the cover. To no. These men are way, are, what the hell are we seeing? What the hell are we seeing? McDonough and Styles, oh my god, McDonough and Styles pushing the barrier, these, and again, they're still the old, the first two men in the match, we have yet to see any man get submitted, any man get anything, these two men have been clearing the line, and they've been gatekeeping the match, this is how much that North American Championship means to these men, and look at this now, over and through, Beautiful, beautiful work. Brings them back in. This right here. Oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, he was looking for another devil inside. Styles said no. Out of nowhere, Styles clash. Into the cover. One, two. JD's out. What a performance, though. Can we talk seriously? Can we talk about that performance? Oh, man. Oh, man. We haven't seen this man since Mania as well. He is an angry Samoan. And he just got abandoned by his entire bloodline, ladies and gentlemen. It's Solo Sokoa. Oh, this is going to be good. But look at this now as AJ Styles trying to find himself. Goes back into the... His center of the ring, Solo. Solo telling Styles to bring it on. Styles goes for a big punch. Solo, though, throws everything on Styles. Needs to understand here tonight that, oh, wait a minute. Hey, my words here is AJ Styles throwing some kicks of his own here. Solo Sokoa. These two men just going back and forth as they go. Solo shrugging off. AJ Styles. Now, this time, Solo belly to belly. Sits him down. That is exactly what Solo Sokoa needed. He's the fresher man. He needs to throw his body weight around. This right here can be an opportunity on a new lease of life here in WWE for Solo Sokoa. As for anybody who is new here, Solo Sokoa was in the bloodline all throughout the entire, you know, career season for this universe mode. And this past season, it's season two. Beautiful flying headbutt there by Solo. You know, after season two, you know, things started to go downhill for the bloodline. And, Back at WrestleMania, Solo Sokoa went one on one with Roman Reigns, and you know it was said after the matchup that all Solo had to do was acknowledge his tribal chief, but we didn't even get that far because Jacob Fatu kind of played a part in that one. But look at that now, crossbody there by a phenomenal one, but Solo catches him, catches him up here as brings him up to the shoulders, and Solo bounces him right off the apron, or excuse me, of the turnbuckle. Solo now picking up AJ Styles. What does he have in mind for him? As these two men have been going at it left and right since Solo into the ring. Look at that now, Solo going right to the other side of the ring and using all that momentum. All that momentum to his advantage. Beautiful work there by the Lone Samoan too. And this is going to be it. No. No, no, no. Styles finding a way to get the slit of the other shoulder up. I don't know how he did it. But he found a way, ladies and gentlemen, as look at this. Wait a minute, what are we about to see? 
Oh, wait, punch there by Solo. Styles says no. Styles not allowing the punch here as this, ladies and gentlemen, is an opportunity to go to Unforgiven. San Juan, Puerto Rico for the first time in Universe Mode history to take on Chad Gable for the North American Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, it only goes down like this in Wrestle Plus. Says, look at that now. Solo takes down Styles. Styles now. Oh, wait a minute. Solo seems to be slowly dissecting Styles. First time he hit him with that clothesline into the corner. It was on that side of the ring. Then on that side of the ring. Now he's looking to go to the upper parts of the ring. I think where he's looking to hit all four sides of the ring. I think Solo Sokoa is looking to hit all four sides of the ring. And the referee may have gotten his way a little bit, but he hit it. All four sides, courtesy of Solo Sokoa. Big strikes here by Solo, just absolutely unloading on the phenomenal one here tonight. And oh, taking him down there. Beautiful work there by Solo Sokoa. Now looking to work on that leg. That work on that leg, you can't bounce off of that rope to hit the phenomenal forearm. You see, ladies and gentlemen, Solo Sokoa playing very smart here. He's playing very, very smart here. Flying Samoan. Man, oh man, oh man. To think that we've only gotten three members in this match. We still got three other guys to go in this matchup. Ten minutes left on the clock and oh. Solo goes for a clothesline. Didn't get all of it there. It was kind of nasty, but looking to capitalize here as Solo Sokoa. Big opportunity here in Universe Mode. Is, you know, it's the first time he's doing anything away from the bloodline. And look at that! Samoan Spike! One, two, Solo does it! Solo takes out the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. And I can, oh man. Oh man, oh man. Well, Solo wants him a piece of die jack. But I, I, I don't think, I, I don't think Solo knows what he wants. This is a dangerous man, and oh, Solo goes right after him. Right after him, just Solo. Knocking down Dijak, Dijak moves out of the way. Grabs up on Solo, big Irish whip here, and look at, ooh. Look at the size difference compared to Solo and Dijak. I mean, that is absolutely incredible. Dijak is just a, a specimen of a man. Tossing Solo Sokoa across the ring. Like he's nothing. We're looking at the lone Samoan getting back up to his feet. Street Chan not playing any games here tonight. Up on the shoulders. Solo showing that he still has so much left to go in the match. Beautiful takedown there by Solo. And oh, Solo not using a headbutt once again to his advantage. Said it before and I'll say it again. You don't want to headbutt a Samoan. You're definitely going to lose that fight. As look at this one now. Solo Sokoa now grabbing up on the, the, the trap area of Dijak here, as Dijak was saying earlier tonight, I guess he cut the beard before he came back down to the wrestling ring. Dijak was saying earlier tonight that, uh, you know, he's not here to make friends. He doesn't care about winning championships. He just wants to hurt people. And it seems like that's exactly what Solo's mission statement is here tonight too, with Solo. Solo now, big back body drop. Beautifully done. Two, no, not even a two count. Dijak still too fresh in the matchup, still has too much to go. Man, oh man. And look at this now as Solo Sokoa tall into the entire WWE Universe right here in your main event. And look at this, wait a minute, what does Solo have in my Solo, big punch to the face there to Dijak. And oh, Dijak with an elbow to Solo. As Dijak has not made a lot of friends here in Universe Mode as well. Um, it, to be honest, you know, so Dijak, when it comes to uh, him and... No, look at that there as Dijak not allowing Solo to do anything. Wait a minute, Dijak, oh! Off the rope, splashing down on Solo into the cover here. Is this one going to be a no? Wow, I, well, I'll tell you one thing. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, we've seen a little bit of what Dijak can do last week as he took Gargano a, a little past his limit. Just left him on the outside the rot as the referee counted the 10, and this time... I mean, this time he can win these series of matches like that, but it's going to be hard to keep down Solo Sokoa, especially for 10 seconds. Well, look at this now as Dijak, ooh, big, oh my God, big kick to the chest region there. Dijak doing absolute damage here tonight in the main event of Mayhem as we still have two other superstars to complete this gauntlet match. And look at this now, up and down he goes. 
We have Sheamus and Ricochet. It's going to be very interesting to see if uh, Dijak can last long to meet you know, Sheamus. We know they the, that one was real going to be real, real interesting. As Look at this. Wait a minute. What the hell? Oh, my God. Sit out powerbomb by Dijak the Solo. A man the size of Solo should not be able to be picked up that easily. Look at this now, Dijak up top and goes down and misses. He missed, but he got enough. Man, oh man. Dijak putting the absolute beat down on Solo Sokoa here tonight. Big kick once again. Another one for his efforts. Calling him up, just teasing him. Just teasing him. I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen. This is exactly what we want to see here tonight. We want to see brutality. We want to see hard hittingness. And Solo Sokoa, he asked for a challenge. Oh, goes for the clothesline, but missed. Missed with the foot. Big boot there by Dijak, but Solo's enraged. Solo's enraged. He wants more. Both of these men are killing each other. Oh, look at that now. A big scream there by Dijak as Dijak now looking to use the ropes to his advantage, not play any games. I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, listen, listen. There ain't no uh, 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 fair and square when it comes down to a match like this, especially between two gentlemen like this. It is all about survival. And the only way either one of these men are winning is if they survive. Spike by Solo. One. Two. No. Solo's first spike. It got the job done, but not on Dijak. Not on Dijak. Dijak said no to the spike. Big shoulder tackle by Solo. Solo eating up here tonight. Not playing any games, but neither is Dijak. As Dijak finds a way to stay alive. But look at that. Solo dropping him right on his face. Feeling the momentum with all of Solo's demons in the past. This could be his road to a new dynasty. A Samoan dynasty. Look at this though. Out of nowhere. Crossbody off the ropes. Now lining up. Are we going to see it? Feast your eyes. Dijak to put Solo away. One, two, no! Solo fights! Solo fights! This, this is what we wanted to see! This is what we wanted to see from the street champ! We wanted to see a man given an opportunity and running with it! And tonight, Tonight, each and every single one of these participants are running with the opportunity. I mean, come on, starting off on the first encounter we see from AJ Styles and JD McDonough. Although they're not even in the match anymore, the damage that they've done, the carnage that they've laid. And look at this now as Dijak. Oh! Big kick by Dijak, knocking off Solo, now just grabbing his head and just, oh my god. Bashing his head over and over, not playing any games, look at this now. Solo Sokoa might be in trouble, I mean you gotta remember Solo is, you know, the non-fresher man as Dijak's the more fresher man, but look at this Dijak, oh my god! It's gotta be over! Wait a minute, wait a minute, Dijak using the ropes! Dijak using the ropes and it helps! Dijak just cheated! Dijak just cheated! But he just beat Solo Sokoa! And the human highlight reel is here! And he is ready to go right after Dijak! Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a performance by Solo Sokoa! But this, this is the next opportunity right here will it go in the favor of die jack or will it go in the favor of the human highlight reel look at that
Starting off here tonight, hot and heavy is Ricochet as last time Ricochet was wrestling inside the wrestling ring. It was one-on-one -on -one with CM Punk on the road to WrestleMania. And, you know, Ricochet, that's a big name to be in the ring with now being in this matchup right here, going one-on-one -on -one with Dijak and potentially Sheamus as Sheamus is now confirmed to be the last man entering the gauntlet match. And look at that now, ducking down under. Look at that popping over. And big kick, ooh, spinning off there. And dropping him to the outside. Come on now, talk to us, Ricochet. The human highlight reel doing what he's got to do here tonight, and that's create highlights. Ricochet calling up Dijak. Nowhere to go, nothing to do back. Oh, my God. Using all that strength. And look at this, Dijak. Listen, no easy, man. The lift is, this is just brutal. Ricochet came to wrestle here tonight as Ricochet has had a bit of a reality check locked in last time that, you know, him and him and CM Punk stepped into the ring with each other on Mayhem. You know, Ricochet has always called this show his show. Ricochet, Samoa Joe, a lot of those guys when Mayhem first came here, when Mayhem first came to be, they took this, uh, uh, this pride with the green brand because of how little good it was doing i'm talking brand wars i'm talking viewership when it comes to mayhem they've always been looked at as number two and ricochet ricochet trying to prove that they can be number one hey look at this now as ricochet pointing to chad gable saying it's me that's going unforgiving ricochet springing through with a cross body beautiful work there Listen, Ricochet has had more experience in the ring here in Universe Mode than Dijak. Dijak being a fresher face coming off of the draft. So, uh, not going to lie, you know, Dijak, yeah, he's had ample amount of time. Yeah, he's gotten a couple of wins under his belt in his gauntlet match. But at the same time, this can, this, nobody's going to look at Dijak any other way if he doesn't win this matchup. This is still one of his first matches here in Universe Mode. And a long way to go. And does he have to go? And oh, sidewalk slam right there on the back. Beautiful work there. But... Oh man, I was I was gonna say this is not looking too good here tonight for for Ricochet as Ricochet was the guy that was doing good. Ricochet was the guy that was doing all the damage. Oh man, oh man. Dijak now wins the cover. Is this one gonna be in here? Two and no, not even a two count. Not even a two count. That's what you want to see. That's what you gotta respect, Ricochet. Ricochet now. Oh my God, just getting kicked over and over and over again by Dijak. Dijak not playing any games with Ricochet here tonight. And oh, Ricochet getting his head kicked right off his body. No, 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 no. He stays alive. But Dijak, once again, not like this. Feast your eyes. It's over. One, two, three. Wow. Oh man, oh man, well, we, we kind of knew this one was coming, but I, I couldn't expect, I couldn't have expected that Dijak would have did everything that he's done in this match thus far. These two men have been kind of threatening each other since the draft, and Sheamus is running at him, full head of steam, not playing any games, and Dijak going right after him. Dijak going right after Sheamus. Sheamus is going to have to play this one a little smart here tonight if he's going to want to walk away with the victory. I mean, this is absolutely insane. Look at this. Dijak just going right after him as we see Ricochet walking up the, you know, up, up the uh, ring ramp. I mean, con congratulations to Ricochet for a successful uh, a night tonight. Just being able to wrestle here tonight. It's been one hell of a, a night. But look at that. Oh, Sheamus going right after Dijak. There's no love lost between these two gentlemen. And look at that now. We're into the cover. Is this one it? No. No, no, no. Dijak not allowing that one. Dijak. Running off of absolute fumes here tonight, not playing any games with the entire WWE Universe. Everybody has been asking Dijak. Everybody has been asking, uh, you know, William Regal, Adam Pearce, Wade Barrow, who is the, the next generation of superstars? Well, on Raw, we've seen Braun Breaker. We see the, the, the dangers that he's doing while lurking. Over here on Mayhem, there's no lurking. Dijak gets in the ring, and he wrestles. He's doing a damn good job at it, but... Right now going against the Great White. So far, Sheamus is promising exactly what he said last week to be true. And look at that. Now, oh my God. Up and down goes Dijak. Is this going to be it here? Instead of cover two. And no. Man, oh man, right? 
off of the kick out. Sheamus now having to think twice about what he wants to do here. Big elbow drop there by Sheamus. Another elbow drop there by Sheamus. Not playing any games. Another one there by Sheamus. Sheamus all over the attack here tonight. Now all over it. Now look at that. Club and blows there to Dijak. Not playing any games. The Dijak. Dijak in pain. Agonizing pain. He just had to go through an absolute war with Solo Sokoa, Ricochet, and now he's finding himself in the ring with the Great White. I mean, if Dijak walks away with the victory here tonight, it would be historic, but it's so unlikely with how Sheamus is doing. I mean, let's be honest, Sheamus did kind of get lucky with that last minute draw. I gotta find out how Sheamus got that. Now look at him just teasing Dijak, standing around just letting Dijak kind of catch his breath. And oh, wait a minute, Dijak slapping off the punch there. Sheamus seemed a bit shocked there as Sheamus now getting a couple slaps to his chest there by Dijak. Dijak now absolutely unloading any and everything that he has left in his arsenal on Sheamus. And you can't blame him, ladies and gentlemen. Sheamus has been throwing everything at Dijak, and Dijak just wants to return the favor. Oh! Drops him down into the cover. Is this one going to be it? No! Kick out at one there, man. Oh, man. We promised you an absolute banger of a main event and a banger of a main event. We are delivering with. And look at this now. Wait a minute. Sheamus lining up for what could be the bro kick. And oh my God. This right here, lady. I mean, Sheamus just has to put Dijak out of his goddamn, like, out of his misery by now. I mean, Dijak is sweating. He's hurt. He doesn't know what's going on. Dijak just wants to get out of this one, but wait a minute, wait a minute, I might be eating my words here. I took a second to look over the notes, and as I did, and as I'm looking back, look at this now as Dijak unloading here on Sheamus, firing away on Sheamus, not playing any games with the Great White. We knew the Great White was going to go down one way or another, but it seemed very unlikely to be Dijak to get the job done here tonight as Dijak now, look at that, bouncing him right off of the ropes, ducking down low. Beautiful there. Oh, both men getting tangled up, though. Not the smartest thing, both men getting tangled up. And oh, again, both men getting tangled up. And oh, big slap to the chest, missed out. And oh, big punches, another big punch there. Both of these men so evenly matched in the ring. Oh, goodness. Both of these men so evenly matched in the ring. It is just a, tale, a, a test of time to see who is going to be able to walk away with the victory here tonight. Elbow drop by Sheamus from the heavens. One, two, no. No, 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 Dijak getting that little slither of a shoulder up. How the hell did he do it? I don't know, but Sheamus now. Sheamus says Celtic Cross. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, Sheamus is about to hit that Celtic Cross. And Dijak said no. Dijak said no. He is not allowing Sheamus to do any sort of a Celtic Cross. Now Sheamus, oh. Sheamus gets dropped. Two! No, what? Dijak just did it! Dijak just defeated three! Three other opponents! And Dijak is going to Unforgiven with a seven minute overdraw of time! We want to thank everybody for watching this one as this was your mayhem season premiere. Wait a minute, Dijak isn't done. Oh my God, Dijak isn't done with Sheamus. Dijak going after Sheamus. Absolutely unloading on the great white, showing that he is not done, showing that it is never done. But ladies and gentlemen, May 12th, we're turning up that Latino heat because Unforgiven is going to be coming your way live in San Juan, Puerto Rico in your first match announced. It is going to be Chad Gable going one-on-one -on -one with Dijak.